Russell Targ is a physicist, author, ESP researcher, and pioneer in the development of the laser. Mr. Targ co-founded a 23-year program of research into remote viewing at Stanford Research Institute for the CIA. He writes about these experiences in his latest book, Do You See What I See? Memoirs of a Blind Biker. He gave a talk recently about these experiences at East West Books in Mountain View, California. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming here on such a warm evening in Mountain View. Very happy to be here. The last time I was here was about a year and a half ago. I had a book called The End of Suffering which is the Buddhist perspective on peacefulness in unpeaceful times, or how to get out of hell free. And the, 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 and the, and the teaching, as many of you know, the teaching of Buddhism is the reason we suffer is that we spend a lot of time defending the story of who we think we are. And the Buddhist teaching is that, that there is no self. The self is just a story that we tell. It's a business card that we carry with us. And uh, we create a lot of suffering for ourselves by defending that story, which is just something we made up. And, and I believe that that's all true. So about a year ago, I went to my publisher, Hampton Roads, and said, I have a lot of stories that I've been telling. And people say, can't you tell me more about that? Can't you tell us what really happened? And I went to Jack Jennings at Hampton Roads, and said, I think I'd like to write my autobiography. And he said, I thought the last book you wrote said that there is no self. <laughs> that sounds like it's going to be a very short book. And I said, well, there, there is no self. It's just a story. And I want a chance to tell that story. So that's really what, I, what I'm here to do now, to talk about some of the adventures we had with the CIA and remote viewing and other adventures I had in the course of my life in Palo Alto and my time in the Silicon Valley. One of the things that I want to do is to encourage you all, one of the reasons that I wrote the book is to encourage you all to get in touch with the part of yourself that's psychic. It's something that's available to all of us. One of the things that we know is that if you think that who you are is what you see in the mirror in the morning, you're definitely in for a lot of suffering. <laughs> so it's a, that's the first step in recognizing that you're not a body. Now, I think I'll tell you a little bit about the remote viewing, which is uh, how this all got started. The, the, the clue that you're not a body, my clue that I'm not a body, comes from the decade I spent at SRI teaching people to do remote viewing and the CIA, Defense Intelligence Agency, Army Intelligence, NASA, almost everyone you can think of uh, was eventually willing to support our program. So we worked with a prodigious psychic named Pat Price, who was a psychic police commissioner, and uh, Price volunteered to help us. And what we described for John McMahon, he he sent us a CIA agent who gave me geographical coordinates of latitude and longitude and told me to find out what was there. And I turned to Pat Price and said, here are the coordinates, what do you see at this location? And Price described lying on his back psychically on top of a building, and you can do this, he quieted his mind and said, a big crane is rolling back and forth over my body. It's a giant gantry crane. It's got wheels on either side of this building. And he drew this giant crane, eight-wheel crane. And he said, inside this building, they're building a big steel sphere, 60 feet in diameter, welding it together out of orange peel shape, out of gores. And that's what he drew and that's what he described. And the crane he drew was exactly correct. And we were able to get confirmation 
from satellite pictures that he drew the right crane. But unfortunately, Price died the next year, and two years later, the Russians rolled this big steel sphere out of the building, and our satellite pictures showed that they were making a containment vessel out of steel for a particle beam weapon to shoot down the satellites that were taking these pictures. So that, that's what the CIA, we would call that a hit. <laughs> and based on that, because even in the CIA write-up, they said that this was fabricated out of steel gores being welded together, the exact words that Price had used three years before.